coming up next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Or tail the tape for this featherweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway. And it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Glance a glancing right hand upstairs. Keep your hand in it. Keep your hand in it. Let's go. Watch knees to the body. Let's 
just unable to quite find that range. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Luke. Head kick lands. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Liver kick. They continue to exchange. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. He's throwing every part of himself. It's hitting big leg kicks. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Good stick. Oh, Superman punch. Five minutes in the books. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous right. round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he could see almost everything coming in this direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defenses. Let's keep fighting. Straight punch lands. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Let's get going. Real quick leg kick. Slips to avoid the right. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. See if he can rally. Trying to kick the leg out. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Hard straight, hard straight. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Take him down. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. 
a head kick. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Seconds winding down in round two. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Here's round. Up. High Ready. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Not there. Beautiful kick. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Right hook to the head blocked. Come on now. Big body kick lands. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice kick. Oh, huge block! Way to hide that leg kick. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Powerful leg kick lands. He blocks the punch. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. Throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up right. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Waiting seconds here of round number three. So a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Whiffs on that offering. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Lee. Big kick land. with that attempt. Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Ooh, big shot lands. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Good night if that landed. Oh, big punch land. Punch him in the back. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. We need to get a takedown and win the round. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Good job. Oh, where is he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Swing and a miss by Lee. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, that's a nice strike. <laughs> Lee going for the body, missed with that kick. Blocks the shot. Put your hands up Come on. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Lands to the body there. Great punch landed with so much power. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Nice shot to the body there. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. 
All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Nice punch lands. Oh, big head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Punch lands over the top. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Strong straight left there. Outstanding kick there by Lou. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! So there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a big to be very proud of his performance.